Hey guys, uh, this is Akshay Sura. Today we will be going through Sitecore Content Hub uh, Digital Asset Management, DAM for short. Uh, this is the first of our few videos on DAM, so this will be a walkthrough, just taking a look to see how the digital asset management looks like. Of course, DAM is all about assets, so anything and everything which revolves around an asset. So we'll take a look at that. And then hopefully in the upcoming videos when we look at administration as well as uh, development or any kind of integrations, we will look in a uh, plain instance which does not have any content. So that way we can kind of see what it takes for us to add that additional metadata, the taxonomies, the values, the lookups. And then, you know, you can even get into theming at that point. All right, so here we have our um, demo instance. I just spun it up brand new. Um, so Content Hub in general uh, brings you to this screen. And again, you can customize any of this, uh, any of the pages. If you need theme specific to your brand or your company, you could do that as well. And we'll definitely get into all of this in the administration part of the video. But today is just a walkthrough. So as I mentioned, um, DAM is all about assets and everything revolves around assets. And when you get to this asset screen, essentially you're able to see all the assets which you have permission for. And as you, uh, as you notice, we, um, this is a fresh instance. Usually you would be able to see um, the, the thumbnails or the you know, previews for these assets. I'm assuming it's still spinning in the background. Uh, and then on the left, you have facets uh, for search. And um, one of my videos I mentioned, I'm actually super critical of search. And this is actually, uh, it's very, uh, very good from, from my, even my standard. So you have different types of facets. And again, you could add custom facets for uh, different attributes you have. You could add more attributes for, an, uh, for a specific asset. So by default, when you pick um, assets, uh, oh, sorry, facets, it's it's saying, okay, bring me everything which is a branding asset as well as a powerful brand. So you can manipulate um, your search results based on the existing facets. You know, you can add new facets. Some sometimes the facets have multi-value, so you'll see check boxes. You can absolutely um, specify. Um, you know whichever checkboxes you would like uh, the other thing to mention too is that if you have a search query which you keep using consistently you could save that search query so you know once you save it it'll get listed and you can expose this even on the you know first screen so you can save yourself some clicks as well as some headache if you're running the same uh, queries again and again uh, the other thing to mention too is if you uh, you know, advanced search, you could do searches on a few of the attributes of the asset. So here, um, say for instance, I search for Lime, you can see that it's doing a title search for that. You could do date searches if you choose to, you know, I'm, this, since this is, uh, let me just say this year, since this is, uh, a demo instance i'm not quite sure but yeah you could run uh, advanced searches as well specific to a specific field if you want to look into that value um so you know it just makes it easy search you imagine you have hundreds and thousands of assets it's not uh, feasible for you to pick a specific asset which you have been working with or you need to work with so this is the screen you would be using the most different assets um, uh, you the previous would be different obviously so the preview for a video asset would be different than a, a PDF and a PowerPoint and, and an image but you can pretty much store any types of assets you can do a preview right from the search screen uh, you can keep toggling um, to uh, going to the next asset and on the right you can see some information so all of the all of the actions you can perform on this preview you can customize as well so uh, this should be good enough for you to look through and see if you find an image you need and then you know you could do 
um, multiple uh, operations on it so when you select them multiple uh, you get a specific type you know you have three selected so you could you could download uh, you could do a few things and even these can be customized in terms of actions as to what you need them to do uh, bulk edit for instance you can edit all the the metadata of multiple assets at one time if that's what you choose to in this case you're adding descriptions or brand uh, at one time but these actions can be configured all right in the next um, section we'll take a look at the asset um, you know details uh, what I did is I went ahead and picked a product asset because I want to show you something so for each asset again pretty much anything on here can be customized so for instance here we have some metadata tags uh, for instance we can enable cognitive services for you know anything which is of a specific asset type for instance product we go ahead and uh, get it from the cognitive services and it auto tags it as part of the image processing for instance you could definitely do that um, asset types for instance you could add multiple if you choose to if you see an arrow next to something that means it has sub value you can search for things if you like um, so it's pretty extensible and here what I did want to show you is that this um, asset seems to have a, an additional section called as product data which is specific to uh, an asset of type product for instance but if we were to if I have, were to go back uh, that's fine if I were to go back to my search uh, clear the filter for product asset um, so I'm not looking for anything product let me let me just do artwork for instance if I go into this specific um, um, asset as you can as you can see there isn't any product data it shouldn't be um, what we can even using permissions hide some of these sections if it's not applicable to this type of um, asset we are looking into based on the the type they choose so there's quite a bit of um, things you can do um, as I mentioned you can uh, preview assets in here like PDFs anything you can think of uh, if you have a composite asset like a, a zip file you could even look through the um, you know the assets inside of inside of a zip file in order for you to um, uh, you know see what's in there next uh, if you want to upload um, an asset so here you can see what's pending at this moment which is not much so either I could you know select files I can import from public links or you can basically just drag and drop if you choose to um, that asset comes in here it takes a little bit for the um, the job to run where it creates the preview but you're able to look at the asset you can uh, add metadata to it you could specify you know this is a social media asset for instance um, localization sorry let me just select that um, and then I can go ahead and hit save I could add um, um, more metadata if I choose to for sure uh, I could download the file and see if it you know the right one is uh, selected I could specify an alternate preview so if I'm not happy with the preview of the image I can definitely select the alternate preview so you know you pretty much do all the things in here before you go ahead and go um, you know submit for approval for it to get into the the actual uh, dam okay as mentioned uh, let's go ahead and submit this for approval once you do that it, it goes out of your queue uh, you can go into review here um, if you have multiples you could um, select all of them and then you can go ahead and um, uh, you know, uh, approve all of them uh, and uh, reject them by default. You can do that in an individual fashion. If you want to review um, a specific asset, you can 
specify the things you would want to change inside of that asset if that's what you need to do uh, if you need to review it uh, if you need to preview obviously it's the same exact thing if you want to um, you know annotate on the uh, specific uh, um, asset to give feedback you could mention that and then you, you would get an annotation uh, so So we can mention that so that gets added so you're able to um, if, if this was a document you can you know cross it out you could do quite a quite a few things to annotate um, so gold uh, provide your feedback um, so that way uh, you know they know exactly what's happening with uh, you know what needs to get changed in order for this to get approved come back here and then we're going to go ahead and reject this um, so that the changes can be made and then you know we can get it back uh, again with the appropriate changes so that we can go ahead and uh, approve it when when necessary so as you can you know see we got some you know feedback for the rejection we can go through and then figure out exactly what the feedback is in the annotation so we can see okay you know gold is not gold enough and then we knew that the the white color needs to change so it's it's a good way for us to go back and forth the the workflows can be set appropriately as well if um, you have enough permissions uh, in the system you can uh, archive an asset essentially this will take the asset out of the public view so it, it won't be able to you can't use it uh, you can archive an asset it can uh, unarchive it if you choose uh, not to keep it in archive and you need to use it as well you can also um, archive multiple assets at one time so you can select uh, a few of the assets hit archive and then uh, if you really really need to bring them back you absolutely can so archived assets once you go into manage uh, you're able to see which ones um, you know were archived and you can unarchive them so they'll be available again in the system for you to use I mean that should pretty much cover just the walkthrough of um, you know, the previous are coming in now now that it's processing which is great so uh, as um, for a walkthrough this should pretty much cover it in our upcoming videos we'll talk about administration and adding metadata taxonomy lookups um, in order to hydrate our information properly which will come from your data model once you work with the site core team uh, to set it up at the beginning thanks again for watching um, you can reach us uh, on several social channels um, and on our website uh, i hope you come back to watch more of these content hub videos